You see, Oprah, things have changed. I made $50 to record The Wanderer. I went out on tour. I made $14,000. When it went gold, I made $500. Bruce Springsteen has $42 million on him. And that's just for the kid who parked his car. I mean, yeah, they, things, things no, have changed. No, you know, in the, uh, those days we didn't have monitors. And I mean, the, the light show was, where's the switch? Turn the lights <laughs> on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it was first generation rock and rollers there. They, you know, there wasn't a business established. So a lot of people, like, a lot, like Chuck Berry's songs, a lot of his different people, their names are on those songs. And they didn't write them. Absolutely. It is a business now, isn't it, Casey? Oh, it's, it's a big business, enormous. And, uh, it, you know, in the 50s, what was so wonderful is that somebody could go in a garage and make a record. And there was a possibility that that record could want to be a hit. That doesn't happen as much these days. Not in the garage. Probably yours is the last one to go and do it for that, that kind of money probably. and have a big number one album and a number one single that stayed number one for six consecutive weeks. But what? the rappers are doing it. The rappers are doing it. That's right. There, there was one, I think... Made for three or four hundred dollars, the the uh, for one of the rappers, uh, the video only cost three or four hundred dollars, and uh, wild the song thing. not much. Wild, yeah. wild thing, wild thing, yeah, wild. amazing. They're coming off the street. That's nice that that happens again. Yes, yeah. 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 really, yeah. It's definitely has, has done some wonderful stuff, which is really garage stuff instead of garage rock and roll. It's garage rap, and it's wonderful. Really? Those acts that last the longest, though, are the ones that can write their music as well. And that's why Dion's around, and uh, Ronnie's around, and, uh, and Doug will be around for a long time. It's, it helps to, and when, when, if any advice you can give a young person, and that is to, to look for your style, look for your way of doing it, and try not to, to copy someone. Initially, it's all right to, you know, to sing like Dion or Ronnie or what, but then you've got to develop your own style. And when you do, become a songwriter as well, because that's where it keeps you... Keeps you the songwriting business is something because, I mean, how do you know what to write a song about? I'm sure that all of you have thousands of songs that you have never absolutely recorded, right, Ronnie? Yeah, a lot, that's un a lot that are unfinished, uh, and I find it really hard to write when I'm out on the road. I can't, you know, when you're out there traveling and going from different places every day, yeah. it's just real hard to... Uh, everybody has a different formula. Everybody mm -hmm. works it. It's just... You find to unlock the key to yourself. I have to. I have to kind of. I have to get off the road. So there are a lot of things that are unfinished at this point. You know, I think all of us do. But the ones that you do finish and uh, that uh, it feels good about it because they do live on. From, do uh, live on. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But see, th there are only so many things that you can sing about. I mean, if it, if it wasn't for love, what would we have to sing That's about? Right. That's the truth. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.